Hi, I'm Shane from Quick Attach. Today I'd like to talk to you about the features and benefits of our commercial power angle broom. This angle broom is offered in 68, 84, and 96 inch sizes. It has a maximum angle of 25 degrees right or left. It is offered with a standard pin connection for angling. The standard configuration uses a hitch pin to manually angle the head left or right 25 degrees. But we also offer an optional valve block for hydraulic angle and also a reversing valve block. This broom features a direct drive system that handles flow rates from 13 to 24 gallons per minute. The operating weight of the 84 inch broom shown here is approximately 775 pounds. So between the mounting plate and the subframe, we have the most important feature of this angle broom, and that is the torsion spring located right here. This torsional system is unique in angle brooms in the industry. The reason it's so important is because you wanna have your broom head be supported by a spring so that you have a light touch with the bristles on the ground. What that gives you is the ability to have a better contact surface or contact patch with the bristles because what you really want is the bristles to keep their flicking action. You want them to uh, maintain that flicking action instead of being bent over with too much down pressure. That's just going to cause your bristles to wear out prematurely and hurt productivity. And also having the ability to move the head up and down without much pressure keeps the broom head in contact with uneven terrain. So we all know that when you're sweeping roads, you're going to hit um, potholes, um, low spots, swales, um, you know, areas where the water drains. And when you go through those areas, both with the broom or the axle of the skid steer, you want to be able to keep that broom head in contact with the ground so you don't have any skips. Um, the skips are a, a big problem because it's, it's going to hurt productivity. You have to back up and, and hit it again. So having the ability to move that head in a vertical motion without much pressure or effort um, gives you better productivity, better lifespan on the wafers, and it's much, much easier to operate from the cab. The torsion system is far superior to any kind of extension or compression spring made of steel because it has built-in dampening. And you'll, you'll know this if you have owned or operated any kind of trailer with a, a torsion axle in it. They don't have shock absorbers and that's because the rubber inserts in the axle itself act like dampeners and when you hit a bump it quickly dampens out it doesn't keep bouncing like it would if it just had a metal spring so that's why this system is superior to any kind of metal spring okay so i wanted to point out the uh, location of the bend lines on the top of this hood here are very strategically placed and the purpose is to make a sloped surface so that material like dust and snow has uh, less of a chance to sit on top of it. That snow and dust can actually add a lot of weight to the suspension system. We want the, the head to be light and be able to move lightly. So the sloped surface here will help shed material when you're working. So I wanted to show you the business end of this angle broom and that is the 32 inch diameter wafers. They are offered in all poly, which is shown here, or in a poly steel combination. Now the poly, gives the best, uh, cleanest sweep. It also gives the longest lifespan. But one reason you might use a poly steel is because it's a bit more abrasive. So if you have uh, a surface or a material that is maybe stuck on a surface, the poly steel will give you a more abrasive, uh, a better cut of that material. You'll also notice that the wafers are convoluted. So they are in a wavy shape and therefore they have voids and then pockets where they come together. This is what uh, cups and grabs the material and moves it when it comes around. Everybody knows that you got to make angle brooms light but strong and the way we do that is by using closed section square tubing. What we have here is five inch square tubing that runs the full width of the frame. Now that is a really large and strong piece of steel that's very stiff in torsion so these end plates that are welded on the ends here are going to be very strong and very stiff. That's going to resist any kind of twisting or bending action while you're sweeping. So this is a really important piece of the frame. So another neat feature that we have incorporated into the tube or the backbone of the frame, and it's not very obvious to the untrained eye, but we've cut the corners of the tube off. And what that enables you to do is it gives you more clearance to get closer to obstructions such as buildings, signs, or mailboxes. So when this broom is angled, 
the corner of the tube here that would normally be sticking out is actually missing, so you'll get better clearance. So I want to point out a couple features on the bearing side of the frame. Here we have an industrial style inch and a quarter greasable ball bearing. And you'll notice that the shaft is uh, captured or clamped here with a end cap bolt. And the reason we do that is so that the thrust loads are captured by the bearing and they're not uh, pushed onto the motor shaft on the other end. Also on this end of the hood, you'll notice we have a small flange bent into the sheet metal. And the purpose there is to be able to capture the bristles when they come up and make sure that they feed cleanly into and under the hood. So here on the motor end of the frame, I want to point out a few features as well. First of all, uh, it's very important to note that we use a direct drive system. So the hydraulic motor is buried deeply inside the frame here and is directly coupled to the auger arbor. And the reason we do that is that there's no chains or belts or any other kind of drive system that you have to maintain or something that'll break. This is very simple, very stout, very robust. This is the system that we've been using for years and years, and we really have good luck with it. So our direct drive system uses an Eaton 2000 series motor, and we're using a very large displacement of 24 cubic inch. And the reason we do that is so that you have adequate torque to power through wet, uh, heavy dust or snow. Um, a larger displacement motor is gonna give you more torque for a given amount of pressure. The motor though is sized appropriately so that you do not have to operate the broom at full throttle. And what that enables you to do is uh, do a very good job and be very productive at sweeping at a lower throttle setting, which means you'll save fuel over the long term. Also on the front here, we have the jack stand, which is uh, adjustable with a clip pin. And I wanna show you that the tube lines here uh, are used to run across the back of the hood. And one of the main reasons we use it is so that you can turn the corner here uh, much t more tightly and keep the hoses away from any kinds of obstructions that you might encounter when you have the broom angled. So there are times where you're gonna wanna come close to buildings or signs or mailboxes. We wanna make sure that there aren't hoses uh, drooping off or hanging off the side of the frame. And so we're using tube lines here to keep a nice tight corner and keep things tight and flush with the hood. Be sure to check back often as we make more videos just like this. As always, give us a call or check out our website if you have any questions.